y'all. This is a video about how to wind your bobbin. Now this is what a bobbin looks like when it has thread on it. The point of the bobbin is that it creates a chain with your top thread using the sewing machine. So your top thread is going to come up to the top right here and your bobbin is going to be placed in the bottom of your sewing machine. The top thread will come around and wrap around the bottom of the bobbin down here and it essentially will create a chain that chains throughout your piece of fabric and makes a really strong stitch. Now I can't use this bobbin because it doesn't match my thread so I can either unwind it by just removing the thread from this or in this case I have a clear bobbin that I can use, a clean bobbin. Okay, so I'm going to show you how to get started. Um, the first thing I want to do is I want to find the top side of my bobbin. Can you see right here there's a little bit of a sign or a stamp right there? The stamp needs to be facing up and I'm going to put the stamp right here on the bobbin spindle. Notice it fits neatly. If you are trying to do it upside down, it actually won't fit. Like it literally will not go down. So that H needs to be facing up. Okay. Now I'm going to take my thread and this spool has a little catch on it right here. I'm going to put my fingernail kind of in it right there. So if that catch stays on this side of my thread when I go to actually uh, wind the bobbin, it's possible that as it's pulling, thread gets caught in there. And you can kind of see right there that the thread is caught in that catch. So if I know that my, my thread spool has one of those little pieces on it, that little slit, I'm going to make sure that it's facing to the back. So now I'm going to take off a spool cap, place my spool pin up, and then place my spool cap back on. Now I'm going to take my thread, and I like to take my thread with my two hands like this, almost like I'm flossing, and I'm going to go around this metal piece right here, and I know I just made it so that you couldn't see it, so I'm going to try it again. I'm going to go around this metal piece, and that will bring it down to this round piece right here. We're going to go underneath that little thing. I'm going to do that again so you can hear it. There should be a little click. And then I'm going to bring it over to my bobbin. There is a little holder that the thread needs to go through. And then I'm going to wrap it around my bobbin from left to right. And I'm going to wind it around. And once I've wound it a few times, all I have to do then is push my bobbin spindle over. What that does is it keeps my um, needle from moving and instead it turns the bobbin winding on. So when I push down on my foot pedal underneath my foot, it will start to wind. Okay, as it's winding, what I'm looking for is that the thread is going evenly on the bobbin. It's not coming off. Uh, and going underneath the bobbin spindle. Sometimes it's possible for the thread to get caught on the bobbin spindle instead. But let's say that I filled it full and I'm ready to go. There's a knife right here that I can wrap my thread around and when I pull it, it takes off the thread or it cuts the thread for me. And that's it. Here's one key. When you are done sew or winding your bobbin and you're starting to sew, if you have your spindle over, you won't be able to sew. It'll spin this instead of spinning or turning your needle. So you want to make sure to push that back and you're ready to go. This isn't enough thread, but I just wanted to show you basically how to do that. All right, have fun. Good luck.